Eamon and I do this most years. Such a lovely event, it's very inspiring, it's very poignant. We're here to celebrate people's amazing acts of bravery and courage and how that they've managed to overcome adversity and go on to help other people. I don't think I've ever been in the presence of so many wonderful celebrities. And I mean the award winners, not the not the you not, know the telly people in the room yeah. and everything else. It was humbling. It was moving. It was fantastic, and uh, I feel very proud to have been there. So it's been a really wonderful and actually uplifting celebration of all things womanhood and positive. You know there are lots of award ceremonies out there. There are lots for brave people, but there is nothing that really honours women and what they have sacrificed, what they've gone through and what they've gone on to become and do through what they've been through. Best is right at the cutting edge of that. So yes, I salute you. I'm here today in recognition of my son Sebastian who died uh, just before his 10th birthday with a last wish to uh, build a holiday house for very seriously ill children. After Sebastian died we as a family realised his wish by creating a charity and now we have um, our charity, it's called the Sebastian's Action Trust and we've created the UK's only purpose-built holiday house that's exclusively for seriously ill children and their families. It's a wonderful place called the Bluebells. My name's Jane Plume and I'm here today because my best friend was killed in a car accident three years ago, she was just 34. At the time her husband had already been diagnosed with terminal cancer. Sorry. <laughs> Helped care for him and his children following Gina's death. Sean then lost his battle last November, so I've taken their children into my own family as my own. Believe in yourself that you can do it. There was times I thought, I might, um, you know, can I do this? Can I give them what they need? And you need to believe in yourself that you can and allow others to help you. I mean, it's amazing that Best Magazine actually host these awards because they get all these incredible women together and you probably saw every single one of them is so humble a lot of them don't actually feel that they even deserve to win a bravery award. We arrived yesterday and straight away we put at ease everyone was so friendly and treated you like you deserve to be here. I felt a little uncomfortable because you hear about the, the other ladies stories are amazing and you feel privileged to be included with somebody that you know you think is so wonderful which has been lovely. They've made me feel a million dollars and sometimes you forget how tough life can be and it's weekends like this and with thanks to best they make me realise that actually I'm quite lucky and I'd like to really thank them for that. This weekend has been absolutely amazing. It's fantastic that Best have given us this opportunity to be recognised for what we do, but also to meet others who have truly fantastic stories and to realise that there's so much incredible human spirit amongst us. They're not miserable or beaten down, they're standing strong. And it's, they're not victims, they're survivors. Survivors of abuse, not victims. I'm Jamie Douglas, and tonight for me has been an inspiration. I come to things like this just to be inspired because my mother's an inspiration and there's so many people like her in the world. I think the thing that is most touching about this evening is that the work that all of these women have done and everything that they have achieved is extraordinary and humbling. But what makes them more humbling is that they are so normal. These are women that represent the millions of women in our nation and anything that they've been through could have happened to any of the women in our nation and yet these women have turned round their situation and made something extraordinary out of something tragic. The only thing I can add to that is that there's an old Native American proverb that says women hold up half the sky. After what we've heard and seen tonight I would suggest that's a massive understatement. <laughs>